Hey everyone, in this video we're going to show you how to add a different logo for certain pages or for each page of your website using only one header all in Elementor Pro. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. So we have our pages here. Let's go to our home page. So we have our logo here. If we go to the about page, we have our same logo here. And the contact page, we have our same logo here. Now, this isn't the best website to show the example on. This is best if maybe you have a, a page, um, like a like a website that has an e-commerce section on it, and your e-commerce logo is just a little bit different when you want to show that. But it's, it's the same concept here. All right, so we have our three pages here that we're going to be demoing. Go to the dashboard and go to Elementor and My Templates. Go to Header. Create a new header. Let's call this global header. Now before, in order to do this, you would have to do either some CSS or some scripting to get it to change to a logo that you want or to make 20 different headers for your entire website. And that's just very tedious to keep track of. So let's just use this simple one right here. Let's insert this. All right, we're gonna see that we have our site logo over here. We don't have a site logo, so it's not showing anything here. But we have our main menu over here. So let's go ahead and get rid of this site logo. We're going to search the sidebar for featured image. All right, so what this is going to do is this is going to pull in the featured image from the page. And I'll show you where that setting is right here. On your page, over on the bottom right hand side, you have that featured image, just a standard on all of your pages and posts. So we have that here. So let's go back to the header and we have the featured image. Now, we don't want to have to set a featured image for the pages that we don't want a custom logo on because that'll just become too tedious. Maybe if you're passing it off to a client, it's just going to be impossible for them to keep up with. So you want to be able to make it so that automatically your logo will be here unless you have a featured image. So we click on featured image. Let's click on the fallback and we're going to put our main logo here. All right, so we have this main logo here. It looks great. This is all we have to, this is the entire setup. That's all we have to do. And click publish, add condition, the entire site, and publish. From here, we are on our home page. Let's refresh. You can see our beautiful navigation that we've just added with our featured image right here. Now let's edit the page. Let's this our about page. And right now, if we refresh, this is what it currently looks like. Let's edit this, and I want to change this to something different. So let's click on the featured image, and we're going to add something different. So let's add just this wrench right here. Click update. Let's go to our about page and refresh, and we just have this here. Now, if we go to our contact page, we still have this fallback image. So if we want the contact page logo to be the same as all the other pages, it's already doing that because we have it set as the fallback. Now, if we want to change the contact logo, all we do is click on the edit page, go down to the featured image, and let's click the wallet. No, let's click let's click this one. See it, featured image and update. Let's view our page. And we have our logo for that page. Now, this is going to work for all of your pages, so if you want to do it for your WooCommerce pages, you can do that, whatever you want to do. This is an easy way to add multiple logos to your site by using the featured image. Be sure that you have that fallback image or else you're going to have to put your regular logo on all the pages that you don't want your custom logo on. So make sure you set that up and then from there you're good to go with all of your multiple different logos on each page of your site. We hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and we will see you next time.